it's really hard to imagine the old theatre now because we've all forgotten. I suppose we're so thrilled with this theatre that perhaps we've maybe blanked it from our minds because it was not like this. This is something truly incredible. It is an absolute transformation. I'm Jane Harrison, the principal of the Arts Educational Schools, and we're sitting in our new theatre, the Andrew Lloyd Webber Foundation Theatre. And we were very lucky to be given a donation from the Andrew Lloyd Webber Foundation to build this beautiful theatre. And uh, about eight, nine months ago, they started. I found it really hard to imagine how it was going to be because to come in here and just see mud and dirt and bricks and rubble, I just thought it would never happen. And I never, ever thought it would finish on time. And it has. And that is like some sort of miracle. different um, in the way of uh, students dancing in chorus, singing, happy. It's just not your normal kind of life. It's like being in the middle of Fame Academy sometimes. Hi Dave, how you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. Don't worry, you'll be famous. This is quiet. Got it? If they get going this afternoon like they normally do, it will get a lot louder around here, around this end of the building. This is a reasonable sized job, it's two and a half million pounds and with a 32 week program, so yes, yeah, it's a really reasonable job. We weren't just doing this as maybe a, a vanity project to create a fabulous theatre, um, but we were doing something that would benefit the students. The, incredibly high standard of teaching wasn't really matched by the um, standard of the environment. It's been very important to us to keep the uh, building operating with the same amount of enthusiasm and the same atmosphere as we've always had. So our request to Overbury was that the most important thing for us was that the atmosphere was maintained and this they have done. What you do tend to catch is, sometimes you might catch them sort of jigging. Everybody just seems to sort of, I don't know whether it's the building, what we're doing, where it is, but everyone just seems to be constantly happy and enjoy what they're doing here. So, yeah, it's been, been entertaining. We're a really thriving building, very, very busy. And that's what's made it so extraordinary that we could have this building work going on whilst we're still functioning. And as you can probably hear, there's still the music, there's still the dance classes, and there's also pupils doing um, regular classes like history and English. So we've had to function with the academic work and the vocational work. To have that many work people in a live environment has been amazing. It's been better than we thought. They have been uh, brilliant at telling us what's going on, at communicating with us. Um, they have kept the disruption to a minimum. And every time we see a bit more happening, we all think that's going to be us soon. We're going to be finished. We manage clients' expectation and disruption by keeping them informed with weekly meetings. Um, daily liaison with myself and my site manager Tony. We then explain to them whether that's a six hour noisy day or it's a couple of hours for a, a bit of noise. So that, um, yeah, then there is no stoppages. We will finish this thing on time. Personally, it's been one of the most exciting things I've ever been a part of. It's absolutely incredible to see an experienced and professional workforce in action. They are on it, they completely get it, they get the school and it's been extraordinary the way they've dealt with us. I think Overbury have understood the environment they're in and they've made it work. They've, they've met us in every way they can. And there's part of us so excited to have it finish and there's part of us really sad that Overbury will be going.